the x and y components of the 4.8 kilometer stretch, which is what it was supposed to be, right? That's how far they were supposed to walk and the direction that they were supposed to go. Okay, I'm just going to clarify these a little in that this is uh, that vector c in the x direction, and this other one, the y, is vector c in the y direction. Okay, now we're going to do the, exactly the same thing for this other one that we know. It's 22 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and draw it over here on the side. So it's 22 degrees, 2.4 km, right? Uh, 22, and then we'll go ahead and get the the two uh, pieces for that one. Okay, so we'll do the x component there, and that was my vector a, right? So this is vector a in the x direction, and then my vector y would be going this way, so a in the y direction. Okay, so let's solve for each of those. Since I've already got my red pin out, we'll do vector A in the y direction. So that will be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So sine of 22 equals opposite over hypotenuse, which was 2.4. Okay, so I'll just multiply 2.4 times the sine of 22. So 2.4 sine 22 and I get 0.89, so about 0.9. So A in the Y direction is 0.9 kilometers. Okay, these of course are all in kilometers. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for A X. So that would be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, so we're going to need cosine there. So cosine of 22 equals vector of A in the x direction divided by 2.4. And so we'll do the same thing there. So 2.4 cosine 22. And I get 2.2. So A in the x direction is 2.2 kilometers. All right, so now all I have to do is say, well, A in the x direction is 2.2. That plus whatever N in the x direction should be should equal C in the x direction, which was 3.57. Okay, so my x component of N should be 3.57 minus 2.2, which will be 1.2. To 1.37, right? Okay, so I just did that by subtracting the 2.2 and finding out what I needed, right? I still need 1.37 kilometers in the x direction. I'll do the same thing for y now, right? My a vector, that was this one in the y direction, was 0 0.9, so 0 0.9 plus. Uh, the y direction here was, or that's the one that I'm looking for, right? That's what I need to do, equals 3.21. So that was the c vector in the y direction. That was right here, okay? And so now I'll just subtract the 0.9. So the n vector in the y direction is 3.21 minus 0.9, which is 2.31. So this is 2.31. And so from there, you should be able to do Pythagorean theorem. 1.37 squared, 2.31 squared equals this squared. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll bring up my calculator. So I'll do 1.37 squared plus 2.31 squared. And you know what, I'm just going to arrow over here, and I'm going to put my parentheses in so that I can do the square root, and then we'll go back over to the end. If you're looking at my keystroke thing here, you're probably going crazy, oh man, all those arrows, don't worry about it. Um, so the square root of a squared plus b squared. So that is 
7. So we'll close this. So vector n, we'll put this back in our green. So vector n equals 2.7 kilometers. Now the direction, right, I'm going to need an angle. So I'm going to find this angle right here. So I'm going to use tangent because I'll do opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to do the work for that right over here. Okay, so the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so the angle is equal to the inverse tangent of 2.31 over 1.37. So, and it looks like I have lost my calculator here, which is rather unfortunate. So we'll just go ahead and, and get rid of that, and we'll use my unofficial calculator over here. Okay, so we will do 2.31 divided by 1.37 equals, so that's what I get when I divide those. Now I need to do the inverse tangent, so I'll go inverse tangent, and I get 59.3. Okay, so 59.3 degrees, so the angle equals 59.3 degrees. So that's this angle right here, so that's 59.3 degrees north of east, because this is east, and I'm going to go north from there. So at 59.3 degrees north of east. All right, and that's the answer to number 45. Good luck with the rest of your homework.